I'm going to use the grid method to do algebraic division where the divisor is a quadratic. The first example will have no remainders and the second one will have a remainder. Okay. So we start off setting up a grid as usual with the divisor down the side split into the three terms. So x squared plus 6x and plus 5. I'm going to start drawing the grid. Okay. And for our top left corner, we start uh, filling in the numerator here. Um, so we just put in the 2x to the power 4. Ultimately, this grid will contain all of these terms. It will add up to those terms. Okay. Right. So we start with just the first term with the highest power. And then we think, what do we multiply x squared by to make 2x to the 4? We multiply it by 2x squared. And to fill in these boxes, we multiply the outside. So we've got 2x squared times 6x. And we've got 2x squared times 5. Okay. So we have dealt with the 2x to the 4. And we need a 9x cubed. But so far we've got 12x cubed. So we need to take away 3x cubed so that these add up to 9x cubed. So then we think, what do we multiply x squared by to make minus 3x cubed? Minus 3x. And then we fill in the other boxes by multiplying these. So we get minus 18x squared and minus 15x. So we now have got 12x cubed minus 3x cubed, which is the 9x cubed. So that's dealt with. And we've got 10x squared minus 18x squared, which is minus 8x squared. But we want minus 7x squared, so we need to add x squared. Okay, so then we think, what do we multiply x squared by to make x squared? Just 1. And we multiply going down. Okay, so we now have got a total of minus 7x squared, so that's dealt with. We've got minus 15x plus 6x, which is minus 9x. And we've got plus 5. So that means all of these boxes add up to the numerator. We've accounted for everything. So when we do this division, it gives us this quotient. So 2x squared minus 3x plus 1. Okay. So this um, quartic divided by this quadratic gives us this quadratic. Another way of writing it would be to say that the divisor multiplied by the quotient gives us that quartic. Okay. Right, let's have a look at another example. So we start the same. We put the divisor down the side, split into its terms. We start drawing the grid. And we start with the first highest powered term on the numerator. So we've got x to the power 4. And we think, what do we multiply x x squared to make x to the 4, we need another x squared. We fill in the boxes beneath by multiplying, so we get 3x cubed and x squared. Right, so we've dealt with our x to the power 4. We need a 3x cubed, and in fact we've already got a 3x cubed, so that's dealt with. Um, we have so far got 1x squared, but we need minus 4x squared. So that means we need to take away minus 5x squared. And then we think, what do we multiply x squared by to make minus 5x squared? Minus 5. And we fill in the boxes beneath by multiplying to so get minus 15x and minus 5. Uh, so we now have got a total of uh, x squared minus 4x squared gives us the minus uh, 5x squared gives us minus 4x squared. So that's done. Um, Oh, we've got a minus 15x, that's done. And we've got minus 5, but we need minus 12, so we need to take away 7. However, when we multiply x squared, we'd have to multiply by a fraction to make minus 7. So we're going to stop here, and this is our remainder. So this bit is the quotient, and this bit is the remainder. So the answer to this division is x squared minus 5, that's our quotient, plus our remainder, so it's actually minus 7, out of the divisor. x squared plus 3x plus 1. 
okay so it's a little bit like if you're doing I don't know um, let's do 14 divided by 3 so we'd write 14 over 3 and that is the same as 4 remainder 1 out of 3 so that's the same sort of thing that's how we write it